Reading is essential for those who seek to rise above the ordinary. And if you want to develop those extraordinary skills, then you have to make reading a significant part of your routine. Hello, my dear learners. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are talking about reading skills. I am going to tell you how to improve your reading skills because I know that many of you struggle with reading consistently. I receive comments where you tell me, ma'am, that whenever I try to open a book, I feel like sleeping. So certainly you are not enjoying reading. But have you ever thought about it? Why don't you like reading such a basic thing, something which you have done for so many years in your school and in your college, but now you don't like reading? Look at it technically. Now, this whole modern world, which we feel is all so technologically advanced, has trained us to sit in front of a screen passively, be it your computer screen, be it your TV screen or the smartphone screen. You just enjoy consuming content passively. Now, reading involves effort. You have to be active your mind needs to be involved something which you don't like doing being in your comfort zone and watching something which is being played be it a youtube video or a netflix series is easy you are still in your comfort zone but stepping out of your comfort zone to read something requires you to challenge yourself and this is what you find difficult this is not easy this needs your effort. You have to involve yourself into it. That is why you don't read and that is why you don't like reading. The second reason can be some difficult vocabulary words are always there when you begin reading and this is what is stopping you to read consistently. Whenever you pick up a book, there are certain words you don't know the meanings of and then you feel that, oh, I'm not being able to understand this content. Let me leave it. I always tell you to keep a dictionary by your side or you have your phones, you can simply Google the meaning of that word, do that. Initially, it happens with everyone. We all come across words which are difficult in nature. We don't know their meanings. But slowly, as you are doing reading as a part of your routine, it becomes easy for you. You keep collecting a lot of words and they keep coming in front of your eyes every now and then. So it's easy for you to recognize them, recall the meaning of that word and then understand the text easily. So gradually that just fades away, uh, fades away. It gets better with time. But for that, you have to at least begin reading something that you are scared of at the moment. You are not realizing this whole reading can change you completely. It is not just your fluency, a lot other areas. Even if we talk about your fluency, it will not just work on your uh, language skills. It will help you improve your grammar because you will see sentences which are grammatically correct, absolutely correct. Vocabulary building, of course, it is happening when you are learning new words, you're looking for the meanings. But of course, you have to be actively involved. You will learn a lot of vocabulary. You will understand grammar. If you're reading fiction, you will understand conversations as well because the dialogues are written as it is. She said this to him. He said this. The as it is sentences, you can copy them in your real life conversations. That's it. That's a great thing. It even helps you with your pronunciation. But how? When you read a word which is right there in front of you, you should try to break it. If it's a longer word, a word which we don't use in our everyday conversation, try to break that longer word into smaller pieces. And that can happen only when you have that word right in front of your eyes while reading. Otherwise, when you listen to someone, it sounds easy. Something like sophisticated. It's a long word. When you read it, break it. So, sophisticated. Now, PH is F. PH forms F. When you read that word, your pronunciation naturally improves. But for that, you have to break that word. Now, there are words like rural. You know it's rural, but many of you still pronounce it as ruler. But while reading, when you see that R-U-R-A-L is different and R-U-L-A-R is different, it has to come in front of your eyes to 
for you to correct it in your speech so it is not rule uh, ruler it's rural r a l so you have to go through reading to improve your pronunciation also it definitely helps in your pronunciation a word like exaggeration it has two g's double g g g one is used as g and other is j exaggeration exaggeration break it egg exaggeration so the words like apprehensive apprehensive double p apprehensive break it do it like that and see the difference in your pronunciation you would not even uh, would want to listen to other people's pronunciation you will be able to pronounce it correctly there are very few tricky words where you need to look for check for the pronunciation otherwise if you try to break it it is going to be easy but for all of this you have to be an active reader and when i say active reader i mean to say that apart from a book you need to have a pen a highlighter a pencil a notebook where you will be writing down all the difficult words or the quotes or the important sentences you found in that book there is a detailed video where i talked about it how to become a better reader i will link uh, that video over here you can go watch it this video talks about the detail of how you can use all these things to make your reading better and there is another video on note making where i have told you how to make notes while reading that is not something which is limited to school students anyone who's trying to read and make it a part of their life can read it so i'll link that video also on note making watch it after this so you'll be able to become an active reader make notes and make that learning last forever when you make notes it stays with you otherwise you read it and forget it there is no point so be an active reader if you truly want to improve your reading skills apart from that be ready to challenge yourself you know what whenever you challenge yourself you grow there is no growth without challenges if someone is staying in a comfort zone that person would not grow they are in the same place for last many decades nothing changes in their life if you really want to bring a positive change you want to take your life ahead then you have to face challenges so that you can grow and become the best version of yourself and same is the case with reading you have to challenge yourself you would not want to read when you look at a book but when you challenge yourself something like i'll do it consistently for the entire february then you'll be able to do it then only you'll see good results so be ready to challenge yourself and keep challenging yourself to read but when you don't want to read still you don't want to read that means you're forcefully looking at books which are suggested by other people read whatever you get your hands on whatever you like to read from the children's story book books to the fiction the novels to non fiction like self help books and other mental attitude books read anything that you like first of all decide what do you like you like love stories go ahead and pick a beautiful love story for yourself you still like those magicians and jinns and all fairy tales go ahead and pick up a children story book there is nothing wrong in reading stories i think stories stay with us forever they last longer they leave a very positive impression don't shy away from picking up children's book the idea is to read more of english content and come across a lot of sentences and learn good vocabulary that can be done th through any book there is no specific book assigned for it your interest will keep you consistent so it matters what you are reading it matters what you choose to read so that you read it with enjoyment you don't read it as a task but you have to begin it as a prescription so begin reading as a prescription and later on it will become a habit just like people start taking medicines for chronic diseases which are there every uh, to every second person so they begin it the prescription which is uh, given by doctor and then they are so habitual they know that before every meal they have to pop in a pill uh before sleeping they have to pop in a pill getting up in the morning first thing they have to just swallow down a pill it becomes a habit so begin reading as a prescription challenge yourself that you will do it for two weeks three weeks or a month and then you see it will be a part of 
your life it will become a habit without even you realizing you would not be able to uh, go to bed without reading a few pages or finishing a chapter of your book or maybe a story depends on what you choose to read so this is something which is very important and overall if you really want to develop good reading skills start to collect information from different areas what are you interested in what are the different areas where you want to learn more about it some people are very much interested in astrology the whole space and the planets and everything are you someone take books from that area pick up the books from uh, that zone where they talk about stars and other planets and everything are you interested in traveling pick up the books where they talk about places ruskin bond has written some very nice books about traveling masuri the roads something like which which you really like to collect more information from and something which you can associate more with your life you get inspired by other people but what is that one thing which inspires you so pick books which can connect you with your life in a better way where you can collect more information something which challenges your beliefs and which helps you change your mindset books do that to you it will question your mindset every time you read something there would be something which you do not uh, agree with but later on when you look at the whole way it is expressed you start understanding and you develop a growth mindset because your whole belief system will be challenged read books to challenge yourself and to have a growth mindset that is what books are going to do to you this will make you a mag magical person your life will be a magic you will have a better mindset a very strong mindset and your knowledge it will move to another level you'll be a creative person you'll sleep better and you will not talk about stress anxiety and depression ever if books are a part of your life so to develop good reading skills choose the books only from your interest area don't shy away from picking up children's books champak chanda mama comics or story books don't shy away from it and if you feel you need to read more of psychology books self help books pick it up from there make notes have a detailed reading where you are making notes for for uh, about everything that you are learning the vocabulary the quotes the sentences whatever you are learning don't read without a pen highlighter and a pencil by your side always be an active uh, reader don't just consume content endlessly in a passive manner like you are doing put in some effort don't shy away from challenging yourself challenge yourself and complete it in this year only and see the difference in yourself i will end this video on this very positive note and i wish you luck to just pick up reading now and make it a part of your life in very very soon in a very less time all right so take care of yourself keep reading wonderful books and keep enhancing your knowledge and i'll see you in my next video till then take care of yourself bye bye for now